There have been two major developments in the world of robots in recent months. The improvements are big, but one of the robots is big and the other is small. The big one is the most realistic humanoid robot in the world. This robot, which stands with its eyes closed like an animated mannequin in a laboratory, first moves its shoulder. Then he wakes up suddenly when someone from behind the camera snaps his finger. After looking around for a short time with puzzled eyes, he begins to study his own body. The expressions on his face are much more realistic than any other humanoid robot we have ever seen. At the end of this amazing choreography, he finally notices those of us who woke him up. And he's startled or scared. I think he's trying to figure out what's going on and finally he puts his hands out and smiles at us. How did you feel when you watched these images? Are you surprised like him? You are unnerved, are you startled, or are you scared? But will you use the same feelings again if I showed your robots like this at assemble cars? There is almost no difference between these two robots. One is the industrial robot, the other is humanoid robot. They both have motors connected by a lot of wires. And they change things in the outside world with the parts that these motors move. In one is the day car, in the other is shape of our face. Naturally, we are much more affected by this when we see similar things to humans. That's why we are seeing an increase in the number of robots in this category, especially in recent years. The people who made this robot called Ameka, which I just showed you, say that they made it for the same reason. The reason we made a human-like robot is to interact with people, they say, the human face is a means of communication with a very high bandwidth. Let's use the previous experiments of the engineered arts, engineers who made Ameka, because we can see this effect very easily in these examples. For example, look at the Kaleo, which they interested in January. They dressed him up like a maestro. He performs elegant movements accompanied by classical music. At first glance, you think it's human. But before a few seconds pass, you realize it's not human and you are startled. Because this image evokes that uncanny valley effect in you. Seeing such humanoid objects that look imperfectly like real people leads to feelings of eeriness and dis disgust in as in uncanny or strange way. However, this effect will be reduced if we remove the same object from his clothes and skin and see it. It will disappear completely, but it will still decrease. That's why when producing the next model of this robot Uncanny Valley Hypothesis, almost called an area feelings in the viewer that creates a human presence that seems to reduce the risk of hypotract, a mecha we see as skeleton. So something different has been tried this time. He is this robot. And they tried to reduce the different types of anxiety of the modern world. For example, the color of his skin is gray, he is not Indian, he is not of the white race or of the yellow, brown, black races, who are born with privileges. The people who made him try to have his gender as well as his race be ambiguous. When they looked at it, they wanted it to look like neither a man or a woman. They focused only on basic human features, facial expressions. That's why they painted his face gray. You might be thinking tough that they you might be thinking tough that they haven't been able to reduce his indomination. Although they are touted as the most realistic looking humanoid robot in the world in terms of technological sophistication, we can say that such robots are a complex puppet or a showcase mannequin. No need to exaggerate it. They often produce such robots for demonstration and entertainment purposes. He does not yet have other body characteristics such as walking, running. You know, there is another popular robot manufacturer that has corrected these shortcomings of its Boston Dynamics. As far as humanoid body movement are concerned, there is nothing more advanced than this. They haven't learned to perform all kinds of athletic movements with perfect balance and mastery. Imagine combining the body of this robot called Atlas which does all the movements with the face of Ameka. He moves like this and moves his face from shape to shape. If we married these two robots, what will their children look like? 
Don't forget to write your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe and like it. Stay healthy.